Shah's on his way back, man. You know, uh, everybody getting tired of this devil, man. From the elect to the rest of Israel, they gonna wake up. They gonna wake up, you know. Uh, when we get the kingdom back, <laughs> you know. But man, yeah, man, everybody get tired of this devil. Yahweh Shah come back, he gonna redeem us, deliver us. He gonna be putting these devils down, man. Everybody that don't want to rule over them, right? This is uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open. White horse. That horse represents your house. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. Yahweh Shah makes war, man. It says the Lord is a man of war, uh, Exodus uh, 15 and 3. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Because when Yahweh Shah come back, he's coming to take his nation. And he had a name written. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed, followed, followed him in white horses clothed with fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with with it he should smite the nations. That's talking about his uh, word, man. When Yahweh Shah come back, he's going to do what these scriptures say. And that was he was going to go put Esau in subjection and lift us up. It says, And with him, I mean, that with him, he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the pine press of the fierceness and the wrath of the Almighty God. right now here, man, and who stay up in Indian territory? These fucking Edomites, man. They took over everything in Indian, man. So when Yahweh Shai come back, he's gonna destroy them and give us back everything that we had, man. America gonna be destroyed, gonna be destroyed, man. But we gonna take over everything that they had and they own and take over their lands and stuff, man. That's called righteous judgment. It says, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me. It upheld, it upheld me, and I will tread down the people in my anger, and make them drunk with my fury. I will bring down their strength to the earth. Right, that's talking about these fucking devils, man. How is y'all going to bring their power down, their military right down, man? Uh, uh, from NATO to uh, America and the rest of these nations, man. 
Yes, we wait. We wait for our, our Savior, our Shad, to come back. Go ahead. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. Those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before them. Right, man. So when Yahweh Shad uh, takes them kingdoms down and gets the crowns put on his head, everybody that doesn't want to submit to his will is going to be put to death, man. It says, bring them hither, man. Yahweh Shad is a man of war, man. The Lord's willing we of the elect. The elect going to take these people and bring them right in front of Yahweh Shad. This second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, which is the white man, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. 